Hi there, so uh, I thought I'd do a video on why I bought a new boat. Um, I've had a few people contact me, um, you know, just asking me if I would share my thoughts on, on the process of how I came about this. Um, and you know, basically generally just being really transparent about, about why I bought a new boat, what's wrong with the mirror, you know, why have I done this? Um, and I've had a fair few comments, if I'm being honest, about, you know, ranging from, you know, uh, anything from, oh no, I thought you were a mirror dinghy sailor to, oh, we just want to really understand a bit more why, you know, you, you, you bought a, a, a bigger boat and why, you know, why you felt this was the right time. So I thought I'd do a quick video uh, and just take you through my mind set so everybody knows exactly you know, um, in, in true fashion on this channel, I want all everything you know laid to bear. So um, let's go through you know all the points I put on the board here. Let's go through them, and hopefully then you know we'll be able to move on, understanding exactly kind of what what's happened. So before we you know we go on to the points, let's just remind ourselves of the channel and the plan I always had. You know, my plan is to cruise i want to ultimately i would love to cross a, an ocean um i'd love to go to iceland you know sail to iceland um you know it's sailing the um, an adventure and cruising that really turns me on you know i'm not massively into you know sitting on a boat on its mooring in in the mediterranean i'm not massively into racing you know um albeit you know I think there'll be a few bits and bobs with with the mirror and racing to, still yet to come. But you know, my whole thing is about adventure and, and seeking, you know, places afar and discovering new places. Um, so you know, that means venturing beyond Lake Barna a little bit. It means the sea. It means trying to live aboard the boat and things like that. Um, <clears throat> so. What I've really been thinking hard about, really since the last the last season, but more so the last two or three months, was me, the boat, and the plan together. Um, you know, so uh, these aren't necessarily in order, but I think the, the most glaring issue I've had is the size of the mirror dinghy. She's been brilliant to learn on, there's no doubt about that, and she's still got a lot to teach me, but, you know, the mirror dinghy's 10 foot, I'm, six foot and I'm 16 stone you know yeah so you know I've done things like lie test lie you know test myself lying on the boat and you know um unfortunately I didn't get a video of that that I thought the camera was rolling but the battery had run out so you know and I ventured literally six inches each side of the center of the boat and I just capsized with my weight I can't sit on the side of the boat at all unless I've I've got wind counterbalancing that so it, it always had a restriction cruising uh, the mirror dinghy did the other thing is luggage and what it, what she can carry safely um, especially with my weight so you know there was always going to be a restriction with the mirror um, my experience versus ability as well. I've been getting a lot of really good advice from the dinghy cruisers this year. Um, you know, and um, you know, a lot of them, even ones that sail mirrors, uh, there's not many that actually really truly cruise with mirror dinghies. But their experience and advice has been that, you know, always remember that, you know, you never quite know the experience of a sailor. <clears throat> One in particular out there that does a lot of cruising videos on mirror dinghies. You know, he was saying he's quite small, you know, he's half my weight, basically. He's also got 40 years experience of sailing. So that's something that I'm, you know, never going to ever have. And the answer to that is maybe think about a slightly bigger, slightly more forgiving boat that will not only be able to, you know, carry me and my equipment better, um, but will also help with my lack of experience. So that was another part of the puzzle that started to make me realize you know I, i'm not sure if i can push on with my plan and my adventures with the boat i've got um you know the boat suitability you know it's it, the mirror is brilliant and you know but i'm starting to become aware that she's just not going to work for me she's going to need too much customization the sails and the sail plan aren't really going to work so well. She's very difficult to handle. 
um, when you need stability and time to maybe do something or sort a problem out. So when you're on a lake, you can maybe get around that. But when you're on the sea or on a bigger lake or trying to get from A to B, it, it might not be the right choice for me. I think we also need to consider my journey so far. You know, I've actually really taken to sailing. Um, and <clears throat> not only have I picked it up really quickly, um, you know, that, that, that may be due to, you know, sailing, you know, two to one to two days every week, you know, in the last season and this season. But the skills I picked up as well, my VHF, my uh, powerboat level two, I'm currently learning my um, uh, day skipper theory. You know, all of this is teaching me to sort of get on the sea and be a really good captain of a boat. Um, and I'm finding that, you know, how am I gonna map read and, and do all this, have the equipment I need on board on a mirror dinghy where, you know, I can't let go of the tiller for one moment. Um, you know, um, my natural progression perhaps has, has, has happened or occurred a lot quicker than I thought it would. Um, I genuinely thought I'd be poodling about on Lake Barla for two or three seasons before I'd even consider moving on. But I've realised that, you know, I'm ready um, and I need to maybe stretch my wings a bit earlier than I thought I did. I'm always looking at the next boat. Who who isn't? You know, it's the same with maybe cars and, and boat and bikes. I don't know. You're always thinking of your next one. Um, you know, especially when the one you have is in the back of your mind. Ultimately, you know, not gonna work for you. So, you know, you know, maybe looking at the next boat and coming on to opportunities was also a, a thing that made me, you know, think that. Um, well, well, to put it bluntly, I've been going on other boats with people having a look at other boats and finding that actually you, you can get a really good boat for not much money and, you know, and the difference between, you know, what I could get and the mirror are just huge and open up a whole wealth of opportunity. The other big thing was timing. Um, I just had an opportunity that, that dropped on my lap. You know, yes, I was looking for boats. I was considering all kinds of boats from, you know, yawls, which is what the lugger is that I eventually bought, through to cabin boats, to small yachts, bilge keels, even bilge keelers that you could trailer. You know, they're all out there, they're all available, they're all pretty cheap, really, in the, in the the if you get the right one. <clears throat> um, so, you know, actually, this particular boat just, just fell into my lap someone who knew someone that I'd spoken to got in touch and said, you know, there's a really real opportunity here for, for a win-win, you know, so there was that opportunity. There was also the fact that I think, you know, you need to keep six months ahead on YouTube. And I'm thinking six months from now, you know, maybe beginning of next season, there's not an awful lot more I can do with the mirror in terms of pushing the channel on, the adventures, things like that. So, you know, whilst I think there'll always be a place for Mockingdee, I think that, you know, I want to keep the channel fresh, I want to keep it moving, and I think sometimes you have to make tough decisions, and, and you know, this was something I think that really fit well with that. Um, the other thing I wrote here is, why, why not? I mean, you know, I'm not young, I'm, 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 I'm middle-aged now, I don't have time, but, you know, I, j I have a little bit of money, to be able to do the things I want to do. So, you know, why not? Why not go and get that boat and live the dream? That is what the whole channel's about. My, my partner did, while I was dilly-dallying and umming and ahhing whether it was the right thing to do, you know, I had a few people that said, well, isn't, isn't the channel all about grasping opportunity, going and doing that thing you wanted to do? And if you come into a logical end in one place, you need to go and find a fresh start in another. So that's the other reason, you know, it all kind of fell into place. Um, why a lugger? So briefly, you know, she's the perfect size. She's like a dinghy, but just big. Um, you know, you can walk around her, you know, sometimes she just feels like a yacht. You know, she feels to me like a 50 foot ocean cruiser. Sometimes she feels like a dinghy, you know, and she, you know, she wants to get a, a whip up and get sailing and you know you know and and thrash about on those little waves on Lake Barla you know 
So she's the perfect size. She's safe, so she's a lot, lot safer. To, to, to underline this, you know, I could take my little one sailing on the lugger, whereas she struggled to even motor cruise, you know, on the, the mirror, because it's so wibbly wobbly, the mirror. Um, so she's so safe, and she, you just know that you're gonna be able to sail a lot, you know, to a lot more different places, in a lot more different sea states and wind states, um, safely. And, and easily um, she's also very very versatile so she is like a big overgrown dinghy she's got a really good launch trailer so we can take her anywhere we want to um, and you know that means she can sit on a mooring which she you know she's going to at Lake Barla um, or she can sit on a trolley or trailer should I say and she could be launched really really quickly and hopefully we'll see some videos of me learning to do that soon um, and she really is, you know, when you, you look at these things, she's the next baby step. So, um, you know, when I say baby step, what I mean is um, she's, you know, she is the next logical step up. If I want to extend my learning, you know, she's got a new rig, a yawl rig with three sails. You know, there's a whole new skill set of things to learn, trailer launching, towing sail plans, you know, all kinds of things, furling uh, jibs, all kinds of things. So, you know, she's made me very happy. I'm learning loads and loads with her. And I think, you know, it just feels so right to be making this step. Number six, just what now? So I want to just make everyone aware, Mocking D, my mirror dinghy, she's going nowhere. Uh, Piglet 2, my little sea hopper, for the time being, going nowhere. We've got to use her a bit more, but for the time being, she's going nowhere. Um, and then the new boat, the lugger, yet to be named, um, you know, she's going to just be pressing on. And, and if I'm being honest, I think most of my videos at the moment, for the, you know, my, my next couple of months of videos, probably going to be on, on the new boat. Um, but Mockingdee's already going to be, she's going to be my um, tender for the boat. Um, she's going nowhere. She'll definitely be at Lake Barla next season. So, you know, for the time being, we're just going to muddle up the boats. We're going to mix the channel up, make it a little bit more interesting. And I think buying this new boat is going to be perfect. She's going to fit into the family so well. And I think we're going to have, you know, three quite cheap boats that are going to, you know, keep the channel fresh, <clears throat> keep the adventures coming, keep all the projects coming. And yeah, my heart says, I wish I could have done this all with the mirror, but my head says, I can't do that. You know, I hope this has now kind of explained my mindset, explained the predicament in a way, explained to you that it wasn't really an easy decision. I'm not just willy nilly going out there buying stuff because I'm bored. You know, I, I thought long and hard about it and made a really big decision over it. Um, so, you know, I hope that explains it. Um, and hopefully this will be a really great addition to the channel and it won't take anything from it. So um, all I'd like to say is thanks so much for watching. I hope you understand. Please comment. I always love any comments from anyone. You know, I prefer them not to be direct to me. I much prefer them to be on the channel so everyone can read and learn them as well as we grow the channel. Um, you know, uh, and, and yeah, let's, uh, let's take it from there. Yeah. See you in the next one.